Welcome to this Oxid eShop screencast. Today we'd like to show you how to install the Oxid eShop mobile theme on your existing shop installation and how it looks and feels. On the left hand side of my file manager there is already the root directory of my shop installation opened and I downloaded the Oxid eShop theme bundle beforehand from Oxid Exchange here on the right hand side. Alright, let's extract it here and have a look at its content. What we can find is documentation with an installation instruction as well as a manual for customizing the module as PDF files. Basically, this bundle consists of two extensions. One is the mobile theme itself and the other one is the theme switch that intercepts the user agent of the browser and device and delivers either the regular browser theme or any installed mobile theme. The theme switch module has to be installed and activated first. Copy the modules folder inside the theme switch module to the root directory of your Oxid eShop installation. Confirm that these folders shall be merged. Also, please replace the vendor metadata PHP. It is just exactly the same file as before at this location, and I already installed another module by this vendor. In the next step, go to the administration panel of your installation, Extensions, modules and mark the entry Oxid eShop theme switch. Activate these modules and enter the theme ID in settings general parameters. In this case for Oxid eShop mobile theme this value is mobile. That's it already for the theme switch. Now let's install the other extension the mobile theme itself. Go back to the file manager of your FTP program and copy the content of the folder copy this to the shop root directory. You'll be asked if the folders shall be merged again. Confirm. Go to the admin panel again, extensions, themes and check if both themes are activated. There's no need to do this separately. In the settings tab you can adjust the size of the images as well as several display settings for the mobile theme. Alright, we've done with the installation Let's see how the storefront looks now and if the switch works. For this reason, I installed a browser extension that is able to switch the user agent of my browser. I'm switching over to an iPhone user agent now. And look, it works. Let's bring the browser window to the size of an iPhone, maybe like this approximately, and have a look at this start page. For legal requirements, you have to have all the information on the bottom of this page. Like terms and conditions, privacy policy, and contact information. You will also have the possibility to switch back to the regular display and see the PayPal logo as a message that PayPal is available as a payment method in this online store. Let's place a test order now by purchasing the Kite GTS. You can find more information like the long description for example by tapping this down arrow. Hit the To Cart button to put it into your shopping cart. On the top right hand corner information pops up that there's a new item in the cart. Open this cart if you want to check out. And here you can use either the PayPal Express checkout or go through the remaining steps of the checkout process if you want to choose another payment method. In this case I want to purchase without any registration but of course have to enter my relevant information so the shop owner has my address for shipping purposes. Once everything is done with the registration, click on continue to get to the payment methods. As it is just a test, I'll go for cash on delivery in this case. Also there'll be an extra charge for it. Now click on continue to get to the next step where it is possible to check if everything is entered properly. Pressing the Order Now button will lead you to the so-called Thank You page, where we can see the confirmation that this purchase is successfully completed. Thank you very much for watching this screencast, and good luck with your new Oxid eShop mobile theme.